Hello, my name is Dr. Najeda Jean, OBGYN with Pascac Valley Medical Group. Today I will be going over some commonly asked questions that patients have in my practice and give some tips on how to facilitate and ask questions with your own OBGYN so that you can optimize your care. It is so important to be an advocate for your own health care. Because as women, we know what we're feeling, we know our bodies, and our intuition will let us know when something is off. It's important that when you do have the opportunity to speak to your provider, that you convey exactly what you're feeling and give them all the information that they need so that they can provide you the right guidance and information of the resources that you need. Some of the most common barriers that I've found when addressing patients are, one, the patient's comfort level with the provider. It is really important that patients find a provider that they're comfortable with, that they feel that they have a connection with, because that is very important, not only in communication, but it's important when it's time for an examination as well. So in regards to overcoming that barrier, I encourage patients, to find someone that you are comfortable with. If you're not comfortable with your current provider, keep looking. You will find one that will help you the way that you need it to be helped. It is important to have exams pre and post pregnancy. You wanna have an exam pre-pregnancy because you wanna make sure that you are in the best health and you are prepared before a pregnancy. And if there are any changes that you need to do to any current medications, or if you need to see any specialist prior to a pregnancy. Post-pregnancy, it's important to also follow up and have your GYN exam. You wanna make sure that there are no complications that have lingered from your pregnancy and that your health is back to baseline. Oftentimes, after women have a child, they delay in going back to their regular screening. I find this for two main reasons. One is that women lose track of time. They are so focused on taking care of their children and their family, and therefore they put themselves last and they do not maintain their yearly schedules. The other reason is that their circumstances could change. After having a child, sometimes women, they don't go back to the workforce, they may lose their insurance, they may move away to move closer to be the family for help, and they haven't come around to finding a new provider. Either way, it is important for women to remember, after having a child, mommy needs care too. So you need to make it a point to get back to your scheduled exams. Some questions that I encourage patients to ask their providers are, if there's any other screening exams that they are due for besides their GYN screening exam, what lifestyle changes they can make to optimize their health, and the last question I encourage you to ask is how often you should come back for your GYN appointments. I'm Dr. Najeda Jane at Pascal Valley Medical Group. Thank you for joining us today.